Okay, next we're going to talk about coterminal angles. Now we've already talked about how you draw angles in standard position. So angles will start with the positive x-axis. If it's positive angle, we go counterclockwise. And if it's a negative angle, we go clockwise. Now, I've illustrated some different ways that we can get to this purple angle. And the purple angle in all three of these cases, we're going to say that's 30 degrees. Now what a coterminal angle is, it's coterminal will be an angle different from 30 degrees, but when you draw it in standard position, it'll take you to exactly the same spot where the purple angle is. Then we would say that those two angles are coterminal. So let's run through these different examples I have on the board so you can get the idea of coterminal angles. So first, the purple angle here would be a 30 degree angle. Now, I could also get to that if I go around once first and then go up to the 30 degree angle, that would be 390 degrees. And I've kind of did illustration down here. It's 30 degrees and you're adding one revolution. That's what the one in the parentheses means. How many revolutions or multiples of 360 we're gonna go around. So you go around once and then you, the rest of it will take you up to the same result. So I can either go where the purple line is and just go directly to 30 degrees or I can go around once and around to the 30 degrees that way. We would say then that 390 and 30 degrees would be coterminal angles because when we draw them, they'll get the same result. They'll end up at this line here. Now there's other ways that you can arrive at 30 degrees. Let's say we go around twice. So in this case, we go around once, go around twice, and then go up to where that is. Again, the purple line, purple angle here, that's still gonna be considered 30 degrees. What I did was, I did uh, two revolutions plus the 30 degrees gets me to 750. So now I have uh, two times, I go around once, go around twice, and then I go to 30 degrees, which would be this here. That would give you 750. So then you would say 750 and 30 degrees would be coterminal angles. Now, both of these first two examples, we went counterclockwise, there's positive angles. You could also have a negative angle uh, be coterminal. In this case, I could, I, did, I could go where the purple angle is here, does it go right to 30 degrees, or I can go to it around the other way. I can go clockwise to reach that same spot. So if I go clockwise, that means that I'm, I'm doing one revolution, but it's going clockwise. That's why I have a negative here to indicate that that would be a negative angle because I'm going in the negative direction whenever I go down and go clockwise. When I add that together, then I get negative 330 degrees. So then we would also say that negative 330 would be coterminal with 30 degrees. So the, the problems that we're gonna take a look at next, what they're gonna do is they're gonna give you these angles first, and they want you to find an angle between zero and 360 that's coterminal with something like that. So for instance, let's say they gave us 750 first, so we don't have any of this. So they're saying, find an angle that's coterminal to 750 between zero and 360. Suppose they ask that question. What you would do then is you're gonna take 750 and you're gonna keep subtracting 360 until you reach an angle between zero and 360. So I would take 750 minus 360, no, that'd still be too big. And then I'd take away 360 again, and then that would take me actually down to the 30 degrees, and then I would know that 30 degrees would be coterminal with 750. And I would do the same thing with 390. Start with 390, I know that's more than 360, so I would subtract one revolution, keep subtracting that until I get an angle between zero and 360 they're asking for. Now let's suppose they originally gave you negative 330 and they want you to find an angle coterminal negative 330. In that case, since the, the answer they want is gonna be a positive angle, we wanna add, keep adding 360 until we get an angle between zero and 360. So if you get a negative angle, keep adding 360. If you get a positive angle, keep subtracting 360 until you reach the angle that they're looking for, which would be one between zero and 360. In this case, negative 330, you would add 360 to it, you would get the uh, 30 degrees. So that's the basics of how coterminal angles work. So now let's jump into those examples. Okay, so now for the examples, when I find an angle that's coterminal to 960 degrees between zero and 360, and then they want you to draw both those angles. So like I mentioned before in the explanation of this section, 
You're going to start with whatever the angle is. If it's a positive angle, you're going to keep subtracting 360 until you get an angle, get to an angle between 0 and 360, and that's going to be your answer. So let's do that. Start with 960 degrees, and we're first going to start by subtracting 360. When we subtract that, we get 600 degrees. That's too big because the angle's got to be between 0 and 360. So we're going to do it one more time. 600 degrees, we're going to subtract 360, and that gives us 240 degrees. That's going to be our answer. 240 is between 0 and 360. It's coterminal to 960. So why is it coterminal? Because if I draw both of these like it's asking me to do, if I draw 960 and I draw 240, I should arrive at exactly the same spot, same line. So let's do that. So first, uh, 240 degrees would be drawn uh, down here in the third quadrant. So if I want to get to it with the 960, I would go around twice and then I would go to 240 degrees. That's how you would draw the 960. So if we do that, we're going to go around once to here, go around twice. I'm showing the spiral, showing that we're going around multiple times. That's twice. That's the 360 times 2. And then the last one is you take it around to the angle itself. So this angle right here in black, this would be the 960 degree angle. That's the first one that they gave us. Now, the other one, we want to go to 240. Now we would do that. I'm going to show that one here in green. And that would just take you there directly. And this green one would be the uh, 240 degrees. Okay, so we can either go around the 240 to get to that spot, or we can go around twice and then get to it. We see that both of these allow us to arrive at the same spot. So we would say 240 and 960 are coterminal. Let's look at another example. Okay, so the next example we have a negative angle. Uh, so I mentioned earlier that if you have a negative angle, you want to find an angle coterminal to that. You start with the negative angle and you keep adding 360 until you get to an angle between 0 and 360. Now if I have negative 225, all I have to do is add 360 once. So if I add 360 once, that will give me an angle between 0 and 360. This ang the angle that you're going to uh, get to when you do that uh, will give you 135. So now I know that 135 and negative 225 are considered coterminal. Let's uh, graph both of those in standard position. So first, I'm going to use a negative angle. Now negative angles go clockwise. So I'm going to do that one here in green. Now the line that you're going to come to, if you do that, you're going to go, you have to go clockwise. So 180, and then if you go a little bit amount more, you're going to end up there in the second quadrant. So the, the line itself, that's actually going to be here. So that one, if I go around this way, that's negative 225. Now, the other way um, is 135. Well, 135 I can get to just by going directly here. So that would be 135 going in that direction. So we notice, again, that either way you go here, you're going to arrive at this. This is your final result you're going to get to. This black angle is what you get to. You can either go around this way in green, negative 225 to get to it, or you can get, just go this way in the positive direction, 135. We know that both of these angles are considered coterminal co because they both allow us to arrive at the same spot.